now what i will do we need to deploy our application to the cloud foundry okay for that you should create a hana instance okay hana database instance and you need to integrate your application to your hana database instance so for then you can deploy your application to the cloud foundry with the hana database instances and you can see what are all the records that we have built and that we are, that we have updated in our sql lite database those records you could see directly in our uh, hana database okay hana db for that what you need to do you should go to this cockpit okay your trial cockpit in this trial cockpit from the scratch you need to build the hana instance okay then only you can able to bind your application data to the hana instance for how do you can create a hana cloud instance okay for that what you need to do you should go to this cockpit in the cockpit uh, in a global account first you you should check whether you have a entitlements that has been added okay you should check the entitlements whether the entitlements is added or not you should check for that what you have to do here you check for hana cloud okay see if i type hana it directly give me that what are all the plans the plans is a tools plan which is a hana cloud tools trial and a hana cloud trial uh, it is a limited the quota assignment is a limited so that it has a hana cloud connection hana and the relation data leak these are all the provision you can do within this hana cloud instance once you confirm that hana cloud and the hda containers entitlements is added to your hana trial account then you have to navigate to your uh, sub account okay you should navigate to the sub account in this sub account you should find this in a service marketplace okay first i will check cross check whether i have created any hana cloud in this incision subscription so far i have not created any hana cloud so far i have created only integration suite and the sap business application studio here in the service marketplace i will uh, search for hana cloud searching for hana cloud and clicking on this three dots clicking on create okay once i click on this create button it will show a pop up as a new instance of subscri subscription here under this plan i will select this subscription okay so far i will select only the subscription later we will create a instances okay i will select the subscription as tools then i am clicking on a create okay once you click on a create you could see those subscription those instance and subscriptions is creating in a instance and subscription tab okay it has been created fine and one more thing i need to show you guys see if you see in a over if i go to the overview in a overview here default by default this space this dev space has been created okay you can create a space as much you you want but if you are uh, cloud foundry memory is consumed fully then you can't able to create a space that is a one limit which have which we have in a trial account okay org memory limit is the main point here once that uh, org memory limit is consumed for each and every spaces then you can't able to create a uh, more spaces okay that uh, we will cover everything in a uh, btp foundation course that is a separate course btp foundation course uh, you can subscribe for that course 
and you will get uh, each and everything under this BTP cockpit. What are all the things you could find here? We will explain everything in that BTP foundation course. Okay, then only you can able to understand what is BTP and how this BTP is designed. What are all the components that has been as uh, available in the BTP? How you can create an instance subscriptions on what is space, what is quotas, what is a cloud foundry environment, what is schema environment, entitlements, everything you will be see in a BTP foundation course. Okay, now I'm navigating to this space. Once you navigate to the space, if you see in the left hand side, this HANA cloud option is will be available. Here, once you click on this HANA cloud option, here they are given a message instances have moved. SAP HANA cloud instances are now visible on the instances and subscription page managing SAP HANA cloud instance requires a subscription to SAP cloud administration to administration tools view sap hana cloud instances okay once i click on this view sap cloud instances it will navigate to the instance and subscription what it means before once this btp cockpit has been introduced they have kept this hana cloud under the space it's each what are all the HANA related or HANA cloud related database or the instances you are creating? It's specifically for the particular space. Now, what SAP has did, what the change it has did means they have moved to the centralized way. It is the HANA cloud, it's now centralized so that you can create a instance and subscription as a centralized way then you can utilize that hana cloud for each and every space okay so that they have made this change this is a major change guys so that uh, so far before what are all the who are the companies has created this hana cloud within the space now they have to move everything to a centralized manner then they need to consume that in a each and every space okay this is the one change they have did fine okay now this subscription is added and you could see the messages subscribe okay how you can access this sap hana cloud to access this sap hana cloud there is a up arrow mark symbol is right right here yeah. if you click on this up arrow mark symbol it will navigate to the HANA Cloud Central. This is a separate UI. SAP has designed a separate UI for this. We made updates since uh, last. Okay, fine. I'm clicking on allow. Okay, this is the HANA Cloud Central. Uh, you could see what are all the what are all the instances that has been created. You could see everything here. Okay, this is the HANA Cloud instance. We will create an instance now. Fine. Uh, one thing I have forgotten, guys. Sorry. Once we create this SAP HANA Cloud uh, subscription, you need to assign a roles to your user. Okay. You have not. Uh, we have not assigned a role. We will assign a role quickly. There are three roles that need to be assigned. Okay. One is a HANA Cloud Administrator, HANA Cloud Security Administrator, HANA Cloud Viewer okay how you can assign the roles means you need to go to the security tab under the security tab you could find the user okay once you click on this user you will find this email id okay the email id is your email id here there are multiple roles before because this is a uh, multiple uh, uh, trainings are going on so that I will be using the same account so that lot of roles has been available uh, added I have taken a CPA training everything so that and BPA training CPA training UI training CAPM training so that multiple roles has been added to this to add our HANA related roles click on this assign role collection you could search for HANA okay there are three roles are available add those three roles here okay and click on a assign role collection fine it's assignment added now you close this everything 
close this and you can close this anak instance as well go to the instance and subscription in the instance and subscription and see click on this go to application now i am clicking on this create instance okay now we are not getting that error message to create an anaya cloud instance click on this create instance option if you click on the create instance option it will uh, ask you you want to create a sap hana cloud hana database or a hana cloud data lake we are going to create only the database not the data lake okay da data lake is a different thing we, uh, we will be not using that okay uh, see you could see sap hana cloud sap hana database provides an in memory and uh, multi mode database system and store and analyze relation but also document data which allows of real time data analytics and transactional processing is one combined system in memory database system multi mode storage and processing engines suitable for olap and oltp workloads hybrid extension to on premise sap hana systems associated associated with the data lake instance okay these are all the definitions for the hana cloud and the hana database once you uh, choose that click on next here you could give a name okay instance name we will give a instance name at hana hana yeah. hana cloud okay after the instance has been created you can no longer change this name this is the one time name you should give carefully and the description is hana db this is the description and you need to set a password as well okay the password is password is related to you okay you can see my screen right yes fine okay uh, this is the one thing fine and click on next here here there is a memories okay there is a memories there is a default memory that has been added for now the memory is a 16 gb memory is a, it has been added you can't increase it because it's a trial version you can't uh, increase it increase it uh, they have given the message as well sap hana cloud trial instance have a fixed storage size and storage size. for more information uh, the follow this hana on tutorial okay hands on tutorial for this sorry and the storage is 80 gb it's more than enough for our training purpose and click on next click on next here here only you should do some of the activities okay you need to add a allow ip all ip address okay it's not related to the ptp cloud foundry you should add a allow uh, add ip address and Mm, you should select this data provisioning server as well these two options you need to select okay if you want to add a cloud connector you can add a cloud connector as well okay for now i'm not able to add uh, i'm not going to add anything okay once you select all these options then you have an option to map with your instances okay with your cloud foundry instances once you uh, for that you could click on this add mapping then the environment instance id will be pre-populated Okay, we are not getting that. Okay. 
this is the org id and the space id they are asking for the space id as well Okay, then we will do it later, guys. This one instance mapping. I will check which is which is a space ID and I will do that. Okay, and I am review and creating this. Okay, click on this. You could review it and click on create instance. Okay. Here it's showing the instance is creating. It will take some time to create. Once this instance is created, you could see what are all the tables that has been available under this instance, and we will map those uh, uh, the things. Okay. Okay. Once it's created, you can uh, do a configuration change as well, and you can take the instance IDs everything. If you want to delete it, you can delete it. If you want to add a data like everything you can you can do it from this instances okay okay guys fine we will see how we can deploy or how we can change our artifacts from sql database from the hana database tomorrow so that we need to add some of the codes to change this and we will deploy the application to our cloud foundry once we deployed you can able to um, run the service within a browser Thank you.